up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony today we are in the new 2019 bmw 3 series 330i sedan specifically but we are in this one today courtesy of apple bmw in york pa and the 3 series for the 2019 model year is all new so of course i will be testing out everything about this one today so as always let's start with pricing and so the 330i sedan will start at forty thousand two hundred and fifty dollars if you wanted to opt for the all wheel drive version aka x drive that is going to add two thousand bumping it up to forty two thousand two hundred fifty dollars regardless power plant is going to be the same on the 2019 330i powering this one is going to come from a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder engine putting out 255 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 295 pound feet of torque available at around 1500 rpm power is going to be sent to the rear wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know as always we will be testing out in a little bit here but zero to 60 time bmw claims is going to come in at approximately 5.6 seconds if you go with the rear wheel drive at least all wheel drive is going to put you at 5.3 seconds and mpg numbers come in at 26 city 36 highway for the rear wheel drive 25 city 34 highway for the all wheel drive but so before we get into any accelerations on this one did want to mention there are some drive modes located just to the left of the shifter there and what they are going to do is adjust the throttle response the shift points the steering sensitivity and the gauge setup as well so gauges are going to change slightly as well i thought that was pretty cool but either way i think you guys know what we have to do next here let's put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to give you that manual shift mode where you have full control over the paddle shifters and let's do that paddle shifter test here see how quickly they react for us yeah paddle shifters are always crazy quick at bmws absolutely love them definitely no issues with any delayed reaction times but let me put it back into that normal drive mode here let's do a quick little acceleration on these back roads see how quickly we can get the new 2019 330i sedan here x drive in sport mode here up to speed <laughs> To say that this thing is quick is an understatement. The 330i sedan is fast. It doesn't even have to be an M3. This thing is pretty darn quick. Definitely no issues with merging onto the highway. And you gotta love the X drive as well, being that it is around 30 degrees out right now here in PA. The X drive is gonna give you that traction needed to put the power to the ground. Unlike perhaps a rear wheel drive version, which you may get a little bit of spinning with, but that X drive definitely put the power to the ground. Absolutely love it. But so then to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so as you would expect, there are four wheel ventilated discs brake standard and as far as the braking feel goes i have had absolutely zero issues when it comes to that no brake pedal delay or anything like that but now let's touch on handling and suspension because there have been a lot of changes actually for the 2019 330i including an all new g20 chassis aka an all new platform so that is definitely pretty exciting it's going to be longer it's going to be wider and it's actually roughly the size of an old 2003 5 series so all in all, the 3 Series has grown in size, still on the smaller side, but the fact that it now has a longer and wider wheelbase is going to improve handling as well. But so along with that, you will get a double pivot type front suspension with an anti-roll bar and stiffer springs in the back, a 5-link rear suspension, along with rear damper technology and twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers. And as far as the ride quality goes, I have had absolutely zero issues in this one. Rides like a BMW, therefore it is super smooth. And as far as the steering feel goes, it is nice it is as expected not as heavy as an m3 or anything like that but it fits the 330i well and i will also mention because bmw has a tendency to put thicker grips on their steering wheel the 330i is not as thick as some of the others that i test driven even the x5 has thicker grips than this one and when it comes to cabin noise the 3 series is insanely quiet definitely no issues with that it really is one of the quieter cars i've driven in a while and when it comes to visibility the 3 series has never had any issues there i can see perfect fine out the back one additional thing when it comes to visibility i wanted to mention 
is there is a head-up display available for the 3 Series as well. So that is going to be there for you if you go with the premium package, better helping you keep your eyes on the road. So that is always nice. But enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. I think it is time. Let's check out the exterior of this all-new 2019 BMW 330i sedan. And so to start, there is a slightly revised front end to the new BMW 3 Series. Different headlight design, and by the way, LED headlights do come standard. Cornering lights are going to be available, and actually BMW laser light headlights is what you were looking at right now, and that's basically going to give you the max output of light allowed by US law. That's going to come with the executive pack, and that goes for around $2,600, so this is going to be the very best illumination out there on the road right now. In the center there, there is a revised front grille, and you probably already noticed the revised front bumper near the bottom there is a black finish rather than the body colored finish in the previous three series but then making your way to the side power folding heated side mirrors will come standard along with led integrated turn signals within them as well and there will be chrome window surrounds if you go with the sport line or luxury packages the m sport package however is going to give you black window surrounds Taking a look down at the wheel setup, standard setup is going to come sized up at 18 by 7.5 inches, and they are going to come with run flat tires as well. However, the M Sport package is going to bump that up to 19 inch staggered alloy wheels, and they are going to come with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires. Then make your way to the back, you will find a revised taillight design for 2019. Kind of looks similar to a Lexus GS maybe in my opinion, but it looks good nonetheless. LED taillights will come standard and just below all of that, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around back to open that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob, so that is simply what I am going to use there. And to close that rear hatch, there is a button on the actual hatch to so simply press that and walk away if you like, because it is a power trunk release. But nonetheless, once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 17 cubic feet. What I found interesting here is for comparison's sake, the 2018 BMW 335i actually came in at 13 cubic feet, so that is a good bit more space comparing the two model years there. But Nonetheless, if you needed some more space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning those rear seats do fold down for a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way to the rear legroom. It comes in at 35.2 inches, so it's a little bit tight for my six-foot self, but still comfortable nonetheless. Also, for those rear passengers, there is a rear armrest with cup holders along with rear air vents, so they stay comfortable. And there is tri-zone climate control as well available, and that is why you see that temperature indicator below that rear air vent there, because the rear passengers can set their own temperature there and there are rear heated seats available depending on the package that you go with but make your way to the front seats they will come standard 14-way power adjustable front seats they will come with memory settings standard finish to all the seating is going to be a Sensatec upholstery however there is a leather finish available if you wanted it and by the way those front seats will come heated and ventilated and taking a look at the steering wheel up front there it is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it does come leather wrapped heated steering wheel is available I do happen to have it today so that's definitely been nice then as far as the startup goes, let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch. And as I always like to mention, the lock button is actually the BMW logo in the middle there. But to start this one up, there is a push button start just to the left of the shifter there. So simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And what started up one of the best parts about all the new 2019 BMWs, it seems, that are coming out right now. There is a full digital display front and center. So essentially what you have is your speedometer on your left along with the digital speedometer within that. Tachometer is going to be on your right. The center is going to be used for navigation. And on the left side there, you have how many miles you have left until you hit empty along with the outside temperature. Overall, a very high-end, very techy digital gauge setup up there. And I absolutely love it personally. But now let's take a look at overall interior quality on this one because there is an anthracite headliner that comes standard along with oak wood finishes i absolutely love that universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors also standard ambient lighting again standard three zone climate control already mentioned that power moonroof also up top there also standard so it does have a very high end finish as expected with bmw and in this personal three series i gotta love the two-tone leather combination this saddle brown leather is definitely where it's at but now let's take a look at the tech display 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display will come standard and there's actually 
three ways you can control what's on that display. It is touchscreen. There is a circular dial with some buttons just to the right of the shifter there, and it is voice controlled as well if you wanted to. But nonetheless, Bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard along with an Apple CarPlay one year trial that's going to be with the premium package. Factory navigation system will also come standard. You can also check out your weather updates as well if you wanted to. And of course, like any other vehicle, you have your radio settings. And when it comes to the sound system on this one, a hi fi sound system with 10 speakers will come standard. That also includes 205 watts. So you guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio here. See what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Definitely a very nice sound system on this one. Then the last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the three series in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also a driver and passenger knee airbags up front there as well. In the back, you have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also wanted to mention the executive package here. Now, this package goes for an additional $2,100, but that is going to give you that BMW laser light illumination I was previously mentioning. Also a 3D view monitor, which you were looking at just a couple seconds ago there. Gesture control, which is my favorite part about this whole thing. You can turn the volume up and turn the volume down down by simply just rotating your finger in clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. So definitely been having fun with that the whole test drive, honestly. But that package is also going to give you parking assistant plus, which is essentially where the car parallel parks itself. And there is a parking assistance package if you wanted that by itself for an additional $900. But last safety package I wanted to mention is the driving assistance package. And that's just going to add an additional 500, which is not all that bad considering the grand scheme of things here. But blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert also going to include lane departure warning, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation and speed limit recognition technology all right so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay out